Hey, it's uh, KQ8RP, and I want, just want to give you a video here of our new antenna we just put up. It's a, uh, it was an inverted L, and uh, we've recently uh, moved a tuner, an MFJ998 Intelli tuner, outside uh, basically to, to a shed, and uh, we've now got the uh, antenna running from the shed up to this tree here and uh, very probably very hard to see the wire um, not quite sure if I can even find it uh, I'll zoom in here to see if I can find it. okay there's the wire as you see right there very difficult to see so let me give you a there's the tree the wire goes up to about a 55 foot, uh, 55 feet, and uh, it's in my neighbor's property. He was nice enough to let me uh, let me uh, use it for a support, and it runs over here to my shed. And uh, let's see if I can get a better view of of how it goes into the shed. But uh, it goes in the shed right here, right up here. I've got a uh, feed through insulator that goes through the side near the top of the shed uh, like you use in the back of an antenna tuner and I run it directly in there and connect it to the back of the end fed antenna I'll show you that I did have it over here underneath this tree and I had it sort of swooping underneath the tree and uh, hooked up as an inverted L um, as you can see the base right there uh, uh, where I had it connected as an inverted L. But um, I've got several uh, ground rods, uh, four ground rods around this tree. And um, I've got four or five, each one of those connect up uh, to different uh, locations in the yard, which I'll show you. And then they connect back to uh, the ground connection uh, next to the shed. So uh, let me take you inside the shed here and I'll take, let you look at what, uh, what the setup looks like in the shed. And it might be too dark, I'm not sure. Sorry I didn't clean up the mess, but that's the way I've got it set up in here. Just an MFJ998 tuner and um, power supply. Uh, antenna comes in up there comes down connects to the very back of the tuner as an end, end fed and uh, um, as you see there uh, I am on 18.131 uh, 1.3 um, 1 SWR tunes uh, 6 meters through 160 just by uh, applying 10 watts of power uh, to the uh, to the tuner there's a little better shot of how it comes in got a little bungee cord up there to keep the tension off the uh, off the uh, uh, wire and uh, that wire runs to the top of the tree and then uh, Let's see here. I can find it. Probably make everybody sick, but it goes out to the far end uh, of my property and connects uh, to the end of that tree. I don't know if I can get a shot at it or not. Tell you what, it's very difficult to, to see. There it is. So it connects right there from the tree and comes back. That's the end of it right there. This portion is rope. And as you can see, goes up to the tree. So I'll tell you a little bit about my uh, radial field. Um, 
just right here on the other side of the shed I've got a uh, I've got a vertical antenna. It's a, it's a homebrew 60 meter vertical. Um, it's got lots of radials underneath it. It's got 67 radials. Uh, I'd say 40, 45 radials is 43 feet long. The rest of them um, right here on the back side of my property are, are somewhat shorter. Uh, it's on a DX engineering uh, tilt over. Um, the vertical itself is roughly 43 feet and uh, give you a little better shot of it here in a minute but um, my in-fed wire connects to this radial field I've got uh, two other radial fields it's got a uh, one's got a 10 by 10 screen underneath it uh, it's located over over in this direction by the patio and uh, I've got another one where I had some uh, an inverted L up before and basically uh, it's got uh, eight or ten uh, 130 feet uh, wires coming off the bottom um, but this basically uh, is my vertical I do have it attached to the tuner uh, so I can I can tune this vertical with, uh, with pretty much ease uh, using the MFJ 998 I'll walk back here and give you a shot of the 43 foot vertical and you can see that and uh, see how it close it is to the uh, to the uh, shed so there's the shed there's the vertical right here and um, 43 foot vertical used to be a gap tighten antenna and uh, didn't work very good, very well and I took it apart and used uh, used all the aluminum for uh, the 43 foot uh, 60 meter vertical which works very very well I've got over 50 countries on 60 meters with it but again, that's the in-fit antenna. Um, hopefully, uh, gives you an idea of how this is all put together. And uh, um, actually, the the remote tuner, putting the tuner in the shed. I want to thank uh, um, K4JWW. I think his call is. He did this. Uh, he lives uh, down in Cal uh, North Carolina. And uh, he told me about this arrangement that he had put together. He didn't have a shed outside. He, he put his MFJ 998 in, in a NEMA box and uh, worked out very, very well. He had a huge signal uh, when I talked to him on 40 meters and I was running mobile. But uh, that's it for now. Thanks for dropping by the website and we hope you enjoy the video. Take care.